Life, the condition that distinguishes beings from inorganic matter, including the capacity for growth, reproduction, functional activity, and continual change preceding death. Given the right conditions, life will flicker into existence, and from there, it will evolve. Taking majestic forms, intricate structures, and complex characteristics. If we apply the laws of life on Earth, to the trillions of planets in the known universe, somewhere, life must have blossomed too. Welcome to you curious? Discover more, know more. Scientists estimate that there are at least 100 billion planets in the Milky Way alone, but like I said, it is an estimate. The confirmed number according to NASA, now stands at 5,000. But how many potentially habitable planets are there? Planets, that not only can develop an environment, but also maintain its hospitality to life? A total of 59 potentially habitable exoplanets have been found till date. While all the candidates are unique in their own way, some actually stand out and how. Yes, we are talking about the TRAPPIST-1 star system, which lies about 40 light years away, and is the most studied planetary system after Earth. Mm. By humans, if I may. The TRAPPIST-1 system is so significant, that in its lap lies seven worlds. Seven magnificent worlds with the potential for having water on their surface. And not just that, closer study of the seven planets in 2018, suggested that some could harbor far more water, than the oceans of Earth. But to find proof, we need a powerful tool, because so far, due to technological limitations, we've been unable to ascertain a critical characteristic of these planets, whether they have atmospheres or not. That is, until Webb stepped onto the scene. Webb is so much more powerful than any of our other telescopes, that it is like going from listening to the radio, to watching television. Webb has already wowed us with some amazing images of the universe, and it has even studied the atmospheric composition of WASP-96b exoplanet, that lies 1150 light years away. But what we are all waiting for, is for Webb to turn its eyes towards the TRAPPIST-1 system. And guess what? It has already started to peer at the tantalizing planets in the star system, to find life, or the right conditions for it. We also have the first confirmed image of TRAPPIST-1 from the Superstar Telescope. The image of TRAPPIST-1 is pixelated and to the untrained eye, doesn't reveal much detail, but if you look carefully, we have a photobomber here. Webb's near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph instrument observed TRAPPIST-1 on July 18. Ultimately, this image has been compiled with observations done during a quick setup shot with the instrument to ensure the telescope was pointed and calibrated properly. At the time, it is believed one of TRAPPIST's seven Earth-sized planets was passing in front of the star. The purported photobomber, TRAPPIST-1b, which orbits much too close to the Red Dwarf, might not be able to sustain life, but a glimpse at the makeup of its atmosphere, would still be a huge step forward for exoplanet science. As I mentioned earlier, the data for the new image is made from Webb Telescope data collected on July 18, and since NASA immediately makes the data publicly available online, a citizen scientist did the hard work of processing it and then posted the image on Reddit's a slash James Webb forum, on July 20. The Space Telescope Science Institute manages both the Webb and Hubble telescopes, and most of the raw data from the telescope's instruments are publicly accessible online. If someone has the right software and enough knowledge to turn the data into images or spectra, then they can. The Institute even hosts webinars to teach people how to do this kind of processing. More images are coming. And I cannot tell you how excited I am, because Webb has already observed TRAPPIST-1 at least twice, in two weeks of science operations, according to NASA. Because it's so close, and because it features so many Earth-like worlds in its habitable zone, the TRAPPIST-1 system is one of the hottest spots in the galaxy to search for potential life, or at least potentially habitable alien worlds. If TRAPPIST-1b did pass in front of the star during Webb's observations on July 18, 
then some of the star's light may have filtered through the exoplanet's atmosphere. By comparing TRAPPIST-1 spectrum before, during, and after the planet's transit, astronomers could draw some conclusions about the makeup of TRAPPIST-1b's atmosphere. Which means that in the coming times, astronomers can expect a wealth of data from a group of planets outside our solar system, that will help answer the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? We will keep updating you on all the latest findings of the TRAPPIST-1 system by web. But for now, this is all there is about the star and its planet. However, we may not have to even go beyond our solar system to find telltale signals of life. Recently, Webb captured the king of the planets, and even scientists didn't expect the images to be this good. Rainbow auroras, giant storms and far-off galaxies are all on display in the latest images of Jupiter. Painting a picture that moves from orange and yellow at Jupiter's poles, to blues and purples toward the center, several images from the telescope came together to form an overall composite and give Earth a look at the gas giant. You can also see faint rings and far-off galaxies photobombing in the background, according to NASA, and Jupiter's famous Great Red Spot, a storm big enough to engulf Earth, appears white in these images. But Jupiter isn't Webb's only subject, for its moon, along with Saturn's, hold NASA's curiosity. Two of the solar system's top candidates for hosting alien life are the icy moons Enceladus, and Europa. Both Europa, a moon of Jupiter, and Enceladus, a moon of Saturn, are thought to possess subsurface oceans of liquid water, beneath thick outer layers of ice. Both moons have also shown evidence of enormous plumes of liquid shooting up through cracks in the surface ice. These plumes could be caused by subsurface geysers, which could provide a source of heat and nutrients to life forms there, scientists have said. The telescope can detect organics, elements such as carbon that are essential to the formation of life as we know it, in the plumes. These are exciting times. From imaging galaxies millions of light years away, to spotting the product of a galaxy merger, Webb has shown us that it was worth the hype. And now, we wait with bated breath to find out about the TRAPPIST-1 system, and Proxima Centauri, and other exoplanets that radiate signs of life. Webb's journey has only begun, and this decade is going to be phenomenal for science and humanity. As the famous words go, one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Bo Webb. To infinity, and beyond. What do you guys have to say? Drop in your comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to you curious, discover more, know more.